1939, Slovakia. Very close to dying and also very close to winning. Practicing a new skill, recording how to find four while holding my baby son. Bordeaux gore is odd. That should give them something to think about. Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Hearts of Iron 4 challenge video and boy do I have a treat for you guys today. I promised you 1939 Slovakia and I'm going to show you 1939 Slovakia. What is our goal? We have to break free from Germany and then beat them up. Now in the making of this video I came up with three ways of doing it and two new exploits. At least I think they're new, I don't really participate in the community that much so maybe someone came up with them first. Anyway, let's do the challenge and I might do other videos that show the other ways of doing it. Later on Iron Man mode, historical focuses, default stuff. Um, but 1939, Slovakia. Let's go. So what's the problem? The problem is it is 1939 and Germany is about to attack Poland. When they do, uh, the world tension will go up. Why is that a problem? Because the default way of breaking free from being a puppet is to start a civil war. However, if the world tension is high enough, our enemy in the civil war can be helped by Italy and Germany. So what I'm about to do might not work, but it also might work. Let's try it. We are fascist, we're going to turn communist. Communist revolutionary. And we're going to ignite a civil war immediately. Uh, we can't do that because we have too much stability, not a problem, let's do anti-democratic raids, that lowers our stability, and prepare for civil war, and ignite it immediately. Now as you can see we have lost some of our troops and uh, we're pretty weak, however we should be able to do it anyway, unless our enemy calls in Germany and Italy. We'll see about that. This is not 100% because it highly depends on when the Germans attack Poland. Our enemy will have two units just as we do. We have a tank. The tank is fast. That is going to be quite important. Our goal is to capitulate them before the Germans can join this war. And the Germans will be able to join this war when the world tension is over 50, I think. So basically if the Germans attack Poland before we win, we are screwed. Most likely. These guys are going to keep this army at bay. Don't attack, don't attack, halt, halt, don't attack. All right, see, they are moving the army over here. When they leave, we are going to swoop in and take their capital. We have a tank which is a bit faster than their troops. They have moved off, we immediately attack their capital. And once we take it, we should win. The Germans still have not attacked Poland, world tension. Okay, we won, see? Slovak Socialist Republic. Now that's a nice distribution of party uh, support. We have won. We are now independent of Germany. That was quick, wasn't it? And we can do whatever we want. It's 1939, so we have some useless focuses done, like flexible navy. Great pick for Slovakia. Let's do political effort and actually invest in some advisors and all that. We have very little manpower. This is going to go up a bit because we are no longer a puppet. But it's still not that great. Let's do war economy, extensive conscription and free trade. Higher silent workhorse. Now we have to make a choice. Do we align ourselves with the Soviets and fight the Germans? Or do we go back into the Axis now as an independent power and fight the Soviets together? and possibly annex Hungary in the meantime. I feel like going back to the Axis is the right choice. So let's switch our communist revolutionary back into a fascist demagogue. Mm, actually, let's switch concentrated industry into researching paratroopers. They're gonna be handy against Hungary. And make some planes too. Uh, right, that's about it for now. Let's unpause. Probably spent too much political power. It can make things difficult when we try to switch our ideology back to fascism. Let's justify our war goals on Hungary. Retake core states. Hopefully they will not join the Axis before we can rejoin them. Soviet Union declared war on Finland. Not our problem. And Germany attacked Poland. Yeah, see, if we were still their puppet, we would be in this war with no way of getting out of it. But an alternate way of achieving our independence that also uses one of the exploits I came up with, um, uses that. So I think I might just make a separate video for it. Romania is doing join the Axis. That is actually in our best interest, because Hungary will be surrounded unless Hungary joins the Axis as well. I might want to try and beat up Yugoslavia too, but that is risky. USSR occupies Eastern Poland. I wanted to do this peacefully, but you know what? I think I'm actually going to do another civil war. First, let's do some war propaganda. We can benefit from that. Prepare for civil war again. And this time we have to do anti-fascist raids. Sure, why not? And immediately we're going to ignite the civil war again. Now we are at war with uh, the Slovak Socialist Republic that we used to be. Now we would like to rejoin the Axis. That is sadly not an option at the moment. 
let's deploy our extra unit and now we have two units and they have one so we'll be able to go around them yet again oh, am i still justifying on hungary yes i am good there it is we are fascist slovakia once again now we can rejoin the axis but we don't want to join their wars, no. Part of the Axis again, but this time not a puppet. Now it's time to get some more troops and beat up Hungary. For that I will need manpower and I will need planes. Hungary will have to garrison their border with Romania and with Germany. Justification is complete. I should have hired a theorist because I'm gonna need a lot more military experience. I didn't even research any doctrines, but we don't have a lot of slots. Need at least that one transport plane. Let's also monitor Hungary to see when they decide to join the Axis. Paratrooper research is complete. I don't really like the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. I'm gonna do a mass assault instead. Would be nice to have two transport planes, but uh, not necessary. We do have a little bit of time against Hungary. Don't need to rush too much. Netherlands capitulate. Also, let's deploy all these units and train some paratroopers. The Hungarians are sending land lease to Romania and Italy. Little do they know, they're about to be enemies. Well, not really. I'm not going to call anyone into this war. I'm going to handle Hungary on my own, I think. Let's hire the army offense genius and modify the paratrooper template to be smaller. Fall of Paris, France about to be destroyed. And it capitulated. We currently have 12 units with very little equipment. Iceland takes control of foreign affairs. 1000 manpower and zero factories. Yeah, if you really want to see me in pain, give this video 15,000 likes within a week and I will play Iceland. Oh, we have two planes. Uh, that's enough then. Don't need more transport planes. Let's switch as many units as we can to paratroopers and attach them in a separate army. This looks about right. Now, if all goes well, the Hungarian forces will be spread too thin to prevent our attack because they will have to be defending the borders with Germany and with Romania. We are pretty much ready to attack Hungary. Now, we have to time this right. We have to wait until the second Vienna Award is almost done. If it works well, We'll get extra stuff. Now Hungary surely has more planes than I do, but we might be able to still uh, land some paratroopers. Now we declare war. Why? Because if Hungary gets extra stuff here, we will get that extra stuff. Declare war. Retake core state. I'm not calling my allies. Hopefully I won't need them. Apparently I don't have air superiority. If I flip this around a bit. We will have to retreat a little bit. Oh yay, we landed. How about the other one? Took Budapest. I'm gonna need more than that. Second Vienna Award, yes. Did you get land? You did get land. Okay. This is now undefended and it is a core victory point. And this is a core state as well. I'm going to have to send paratroopers there too. We're going to be losing ground soon. Can you make it happen? We could actually do a tactical retreat. Let them take these lands. You know, and they will, for example, leave this victory point. Maybe they will even give us air superiority. It is possible. Yeah, you know what, let's, let's retreat a bit. Defend the airport. And this victory point should be enough to prevent us from capitulating. Paratroopers are going out. Not sure why, but they are. Okay, if I can take all these victory points quickly enough, we should be all right. Also need to land in Budapest quickly. Is that enough to make you capitulate? Probably not. Another one. Ah, uh, there were enemy troops here. That's unfortunate. Go on. Took another one. Okay, okay, this is great. Just one more. Come on. Damn it. There's enemy troops there. This is bad. Okay, let's try moving around. Did I miss any victory points I could have taken? I don't think so. Make sure to hold their capital. Come on, land more troops here, quickly. All right, they've taken Budapest back. Not all is lost. I still have some paratroopers here. I can retake those. Hopefully, they will have left the provinces by then. And now try to take those victory points again. Okay, Budapest is ours. How about the other two? Come on, come on, come on. We're very close to dying and also very close to winning. <laughs> One more victory point. Just one more. Yes! <laughs> now, if we can hold these until midnight, we win. Can we hold these until... Yes! Okay! That's it for Hungary. Nice, isn't it? Now, we could puppet them for manpower, but I think we need factories more. Let's take everything. Thank you. Hungary is ours. And a bit of Romania. That was tough, but worked. Let's justify a war goal on Yugoslavia. Now, we might have to cancel that, depending on how the situation develops. But, look, we are up to 34 factories. We can finally make stuff. 
I should probably also increase my relations with the United Kingdom. This will give us a chance of them not guaranteeing Yugoslavia. Um, actually, I have cancelled that and we're going to stop improving relations with the Brits also because I have a better idea. Leave the Axis and join the Japanese faction. Wait for them to accept and join the war against China because that is still going on. Perhaps we can snag a chunk for ourselves. We have joined. Now we can't really get our troops here. So it will be difficult to get any walls gone, but what we can do is send our planes in. I've also switched all my production to planes. Let's see if that has any effect and if we can get even a tiny bit of war score. Because if we can, we might just be able to take China. Did we get anything yet? No. Oh, Germany attacked Yugoslavia. Well, that's a good thing we have not done that then. It seems like China will soon be defeated. However, did we do enough to warrant us getting anything at the peace conference? Um, I guess we'll see in a minute. There goes China. All right, what happened here? They still have not been taken over. Who have you puppeted? You have puppeted Siamese Empire, Shangxi, Yunnan and Xinjiang. Okay, we're in business. They have not puppeted Communist China, which is great. And they have not puppeted China. That means we can do our whole thing. My favorite exploit to have invented. Shadow puppet. We puppet them with no territory so that the Japanese cannot do that. And as the Japanese don't want that territory directly, we're going to get it. All of it. Let's start taking some territory. Oh, they have transferred Warsco to us. Great. Now we're going to need to pass quite a lot of times in order to acquire enough Warsco to take everything. Just be careful to not press done by accident. We have enough Warsco to take all states. Let's do that. And that's it for this peace conference. Slovakia. Beautiful, isn't it? Now we can use that for infinite manpower. It also gives us quite a lot of factories. Focus on just infantry weapons, lots of them, and build up our home country. We're going to use the Chinese factories, but we're not going to build stuff there. Not yet. I'm also not going to release them as a puppet. Yet. Going well. 70 factories will be able to get to four research slots soon. And now we build up our strength, because we're going to need to defeat the Germans or the Soviets. Haven't decided yet. Now we just wait and build up our strength. Should I destroy the Soviets or the Germans? First one, then the other. A popular figurehead for extra stability. Romania cedes Bessarabia to the Soviet Union. The war is delayed. Now the research thoughts. So basically what we're doing now is using all the Chinese factories to build up Slovakia and get some extra stuff, get some uh, guns produced. And then I'm going to release them as a puppet in order to steal their manpower, of course. South Africa has capitulated. The Axis are doing quite well, but they haven't started fighting the Soviets yet. A little update. Germany still has not decided to attack the Soviet Union. Chicken. Also, I am building lots of civilian factories, and once we're done with those, I will release China and proceed to steal their manpower. Why are we doing it like this? Um, essentially, I want to stockpile a lot of guns and get those civilian factories ready, so that once we release China, we can annex them as quickly as possible. And I'm really surprised by what the Germans are doing. Why are you not attacking the Soviet Union? Okay, we're ready to release China now, but Germany is being really scared of the Soviet Union. So we are going to fix this situation for them. I'm going to leave the Japanese faction and join the Axis. This way, the Germans should think it's safe to attack the Soviets. Probably should have done that earlier, because they will expect my support, which they're not going to get. Also, now I'm going to release Communist China. As a puppet, of course. We're going to build factories in their territory and send them land lease. But for now, just factories. Stop them these and just these guns. Let's say 50,000 monthly. Of course, we are doing that for the manpower. And now the Germans should think it's safe to attack and then the Soviets finally. We'll see about that though. Yep, there you go. Now we are going to let this happen for a long time and then see who's winning and probably join the winner to get a bit for ourselves. I'm also going to copy a template of Chinese units, make it as small as possible and deploy lots of those so that we can use them to steal manpower. See, I'm going to be deploying normal units and then changing them into Chinese units. That gives us back manpower. It is fairly balanced so far. We can lower Chinese independence. Just a bit more and they will be annexed. Right, we can now annex China. I'm gonna cancel these factories. But before we do that, we're going to need to steal all their manpower. Let's see how much they have. 12 million, and that's gonna be enough. Create a template, find something with a lot of troops in it. This one should work, let's copy that. Switch all our troops to it. 
and see if it drains everything or not. Almost, but not quite everything. So we're going to have to modify it a little bit. Just add some more infantry. That should be enough. There it is. All the manpower is ours. Now, China, your time has come. China, and next. Now, I'm going to need to disband a large chunk of these units, not necessarily all of them. So do we just want to use pure infantry, and if so, how many units? I think three army groups should suffice. That will be 360 units. Let's disband the rest. All right, 360. That is enough to do three full army groups. We got the armies, and the Germans are not doing too well against the Soviet Union. I suppose I could give them a bit more time. Hey, infinite manpower, almost. I trained my guys up for a moment, I have built some forts around my territory, but the Soviet Union seems to be losing the war. I think this might be a good moment to join in. So, let's justify a war on the Soviet Union. Now, see, if they were pushing the Germans back, I would join the Soviet side. But in this situation, I think we can get quite a lot of Soviet territory, and then turn against the Germans, or just leave it at that. <laughs> Practicing a new skill, recording how to find four while holding my baby son. Our war goal is ready. Let's declare war on the Soviet Union. And we're getting land lease. Perfect. Support equipment. Why support equipment? Oh, I forgot to switch the templates. I wanted to just uh, remove the thing. Yeah, I edited the template, but it was the wrong template actually. And didn't switch to it. Actually ended up with two templates with the same name. And I was using the wrong one. Are we getting any participation? 3% already. Okay, that's pretty good. Hey, up to 8%. Doing great. We let Romania and Germany do most of the work. And now we'll be reaping the benefits. The Allies are doing surprisingly well this game. I wonder if they'll invade Japan itself. How are we doing on equipment? Not too bad, actually. 17% participation. Not too bad. The problem with this war is that it started so very late that the Soviet Union managed to grow in power. I probably should have forced this war much earlier. I could really use some nukes. Let's get that done. We don't really have any room for nuclear reactors, so let's ask Romania for some land. We do have a lot of war score, so they should be happy to give it to us. That's actually way more than I expected. Now Germany. That seems about right, and let's also take some of the Baltic countries. And maybe Leningrad, there's a lot of factories there. But let's leave a path for the Germans in the middle. I want to make sure they have a direct path to their forces. When you do this simultaneously, they will both give you stuff. If I first asked Romania, then Germany would think I have enough. Oh, please tell me I didn't crash the game. Alright, that seems to be a bit better. We have suffered massive casualties in this war. I was in no way cautious. Uh, but we also got the most war score. We should be able to take almost all of the land ourselves. And here's the peace conference. Do we try and take it directly or do we puppet the Soviet Union? If I were to try and take it directly, would I be able to block the Germans out? In order to do that, we need to take everything that is a coastal province and everything that is bordering the Germans. If I can do that, then we don't need to puppet the Soviets. Nope, too much. All right, I'm gonna puppet the Soviet Union. That is going to be quite useful. The Germans will take a tiny bit here, but not too much. See, the Germans did take a bit. This is going to be slightly inconvenient, but only slightly. All of this is off limits to the Germans. Now let's try to push it a little further. That's it. The Germans won't be able to take anything else. Now the question is, do we take the remaining stuff for ourselves or do we feed it to the Soviet Union? You know, I think just for the sake of art, for the sake of beautiful border gore, we're going to take the rest ourselves. So have a look. The Germans did all that work and they got almost nothing. Now, we could very well end it here, but perhaps we should beat up the Germans as well. At this point, we have tons and tons of factories, so I'm actually going to modify my units and add some support companies. That will make them better. I'm thinking support rocket artillery, support artillery, engineer, recon, and signal. Of course, I'm going to have to produce all that extra stuff. Inventory with support. Now, let's make sure we have three army groups full of that. Now at this point the game is running horribly slowly, but I think I have it in me to still beat up the Germans. You might wonder why I did it like this, with a shell around our territory. And it is for art, because our border gore is art, but also... See, this way we don't really have to worry about this territory. I can just attack the Germans and not call uh, Russia in, and they won't be able to access this land. So we'll only have to defend this. 
Okay, I think it's time to destroy the Germans. Let's stop the exercise, see how much equipment we're missing. Not that much. Exit the faction and start justifying. I'm actually not going to be doing an order 66 this time. Well, let's just attack Germany straight up. Honestly attack them. See, they will probably try and secure the border with the Russians as well. But here's the kicker. We are not going to call them in. So the Germans will be protecting these borders for nothing and just wasting resources. Also, I think I'm going to join the Allies and possibly take them over. We'll see in a moment. Now, the Germans are quite strong and destroying them could actually be quite difficult. Why the hell is there a German unit here? He's gonna order 66 me. I'm going to have to put troops there to kill these. Our justification on Germany is complete. Let's attack immediately. Declare war. Oh crap, yeah, I'm gonna be at war with Japan if I do that. It doesn't matter if we're at war with Japan. Worst case scenario, we'll lose some territory. Let's go. They have called in Japan, not a problem. And let's get some military access from the Allies. And we should be getting an invite any day now. Alright, seems like we're advancing everywhere. Even into Germany. Oh, and I got my nukes. This wasn't me, but I have my first nukes as well. This must be the United States or United Kingdom. We have capitulated Croatia. Slowly but steadily increasing our territory. What's my participation? The Allies will, of course, always think that they did more. Which is not correct, but hey, let them think that. I'll get what I want anyway. You might be curious what template I'm using currently. Uh, this one. This is... This one uses a Russian manpower, but I'm using a similar duplicate one uh, with our own manpower, too. This is actually going to give Russia some independence, but when this becomes a problem, I'm just going to build stuff in their territory. How about this area? Can I, for example, nuke Munich or München? I think that's how it's pronounced in German. Yes, I can. Okay, there you go. And Frankfurt. Time for some nuking. Don't zoom me in. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, here's the second one. Come on, produce another one. I need to nuke Berlin. Romania is actually defending quite well. Oh, it's past Christmas and I wanted to send Adolf a Christmas present. Well, it will be slightly delayed. This territory definitely looks much better in the Slovak color. I'm just researching random stuff at this point. Don't need anything else. Slow and steady. Right to Berlin. Iraq joined the Axis. Oh, UK attacked Iraq for some reason. Whoa, that's a lot of German troops that we can murder here. Should have invested in fighters more if I wanted to do nukes, seriously. We have stalled in our advance into Germany proper, but once we're done with these... Oh, Romania has capitulated. Well, that simplifies things, doesn't it? This is a proper slaughter. Ah, finally, the Allies invite me in. But if I do, would I have to give up Poland? Let us join the Allies. Let's be the good guys. And well, look at that. We can assume leadership of the Allies. Let us do so. Slovakia has assumed leadership of the Allies. Slaughtering the last remaining Germans here. Look at the numbers in this province. There really is quite a lot of them. We will be annexing Russia soon. Uh, because of that, I'm going to take one of these armies and send it over to this pocket of German resistance up north. And we can now annex Russia. We'll do that as soon as our troops are in position here. I think it might be time to do some nuking. There you go. Kiel, Hamburg, Hanover, Wilhelmshaven, Bremen, what else? Dortmund, why not? Castle, sure. Didn't we already nuke Frankfurt? Yeah, that's enough. Bombs away. That should give them something to think about. That changed their surrender threshold. I didn't think it would happen. Cool, if only I had more of those. Japan is going crazy. Good thing I have some nukes ready. Our troops are in position here, time to annex Russia. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, our friends the Americans have contributed quite a lot here. Is that enough to capitulate Germany? We did take a lot of victory points with that move. Yes, German Reich has capitulated. To us. Well, that looks even better. Let's end this war. There's still Vichy France and Spain to be taken care of. Without those German troops, Italy seems to be putting up much less of a fight. I'm going to drop some nukes on Japan. I think there's an event when they surrender if you do that. Yep, that's it. If we can drop two nukes on Japan within a year, they will surrender. Sure. Now, I wanted to nuke Rome, but um, we already took it, so it is hardly necessary. And we've taken not Toronto. And I do have two nukes ready. Let's squash Japan. Let's be historical. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And they should surrender now. How is this failed? I just did it. What the hell? Let's ignore Japan. 
and just go back to Europe. I think we only have Spain left. Bulgaria is probably my toughest opponent right now. I wanted to nuke Spain, but we're progressing so quickly that it doesn't even make sense to do it. And we don't really have air superiority. And there goes the peace conference. We are the leader of the Allies and we have the most war score. What are we gonna do? We're gonna take stuff. I'm going to kind of shadow puppet Germany and everyone else. This also works if you're allied. You can't puppet, but you can change governments. So we do that in the shadow puppet way. This way nobody else can do it. And now, now we just take stuff. Some vacation spots. Now it's not Czechoslovakia anymore. It's just Slovakia. Did I miss anything? No, that is it. Let's end the peace conference. And that is it. We have taken over everything. Now, theoretically, I could still conquer the Allies, but where's the point in that if I am the leader of the Allies? So, there you go, starting as Slovakia in 1939, a tiny German puppet, and taking over, well, maybe not most of the world, but if you include the faction that we are the leader of, we also rule over pretty much everything else. Hmm, common turn exists. Cute. So, that's gonna be it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I have also devised two other ways of doing Slovakia in 1939. They are not as good as this one, but slightly more creative. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that in a separate video. And that is it for today. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.